was come up empty. Take a look at the Kent State starting five. Back in the lineup is Danny Pippen. Traval Beck makes his second start. He had that first bucket for the Golden Flashes. Pippen and Nuga, the two guys that score the majority of the points, the third and fifth leading scorers in the conference. Here is Danny Pippen, the turnaround smooth looking jumper. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Down low, good matchup between those two. O'Neal against Muhammad Pippen with the put pack. And what's he been able to do today? Stay out of foul trouble. That's that's kind of knocked him off his game at points early this season. Just one personal foul for him so far. He's been able to stay on the floor. Let's see if he can keep that one personal foul to his name before this half ends. 95 seconds to go. High scoring, but close game back and forth. Pippen for three. Yes. Yeah. Big fella can step. We, we saw this with a game we did together. Central Michigan was playing Bowling Green, and you know, we talked with head coach Keno Davis, and you know, it was a physical game. They were letting a lot go, and Central Michigan didn't adapt. Bowling Green adapted and, and was able to come out on top rather easily. Kent State got to learn to adapt here in the second half. Golden Flash is still up three, though, holding that slight advantage. Chippewa's last lead was 15 to 12. Pippen. Finally, nine points. He's taking six threes, six rebounds, three assists. He's trying to. Hernandez will try and end the drought. Pippen, an offensive rebound. Repositions and drops it in. He's got it now. Jacobs inside and Broadway Jr. read it. 12th turnover for Kent State. Murray has that swatted out by Pippen. And it'll stay with CMU. Y'all want to come to Saginaw? Where I hail from, you're welcome to make the drive. What's on the menu tonight? Well, that, that remains to be seen. All right. Well, that that doesn't that doesn't sell it very well. <laughs> In the meantime, good looking shot. My Rob center off is totally okay with them putting up 19 threes. They've only hit seven. He's got 18 to tie us back at 65. And give Kent cycling the ball for the possession. He wants to go right back up and score with it. That's what he. Here on the near sideline at the bottom of your screen. I think Rob Senderoff saw contact. He would have preferred a whistle or just not to be called at all. But instead, they get the shuffle of the feet. Ooh. Beachler inside to Murray. Pounds, throws, partially blocked and sound. Titting, but Malik Muhammad probably would have been in a position to defend that. But he's on the bench with four right now. Rob Senderoff, you got to get the ball to Pippen on yeah. every single possession that Muhammad's not down there. That's a big loss for Central Michigan with how Muhammad has played inside. He's been really... Muhammad's kind of left on an island by himself. He had to make the decision, do I try and body him up? Seconds on the shot clock lane. Has it knocked out? Broadway Jr. fighting for it. It comes to Nuga. And another turnover for the Chippewas. Pippen drives, lane clears, and the flush. That's easy. How about his last two performances? You're talking about a game at multiple knee injuries throughout his career and sandwiched in between a game he has to...